Hi, this is Yanni, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a record in Tines. Records are a way to introduce structured data into your team. So it can be really handy when you're trying to do some trend analysis to see when things do or don't happen within your story. So I have a story here that starts off from a webhook. I'm going to get some information, email, name, IP address. I'm going to then use a service to check that IP to see if there happens to be any historical malicious activity. And then I'm going to use a trigger to see if it hits that criteria or not. And if it does, before I was notifying my team via Slack, but maybe I want to store that data in a record. So all I have to do is on the left-hand side, go to tools and then drag a record onto my story. From here, I'm just going to connect my previous action into this record. And in my record, I can choose my record type if you need to create a new one, we just go to down to the bottom and click on create new. From here, we can choose whatever we want to name our record. So I'm just going to call this malicious IP. And then by default, we have timestamp and story name stored as values. I also want to store the IP as text. And I also want to put in there the scan details. And over here, you can always change it from text to number. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now that I've done that, I'm going to set the value for my IP. So I'm just looking back to the previous data that I want to grab. So I'm just going to grab it from my webhook initially. And in there, I'm going to find the IP address that I want to scan. And then in here in the scan section, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the results from the scan from my uh, HTTP request. So here I have the results. And so this one, in this example, it shows as malicious. I'm just going to go ahead and re-emit the last event from my HTTP request. This way it can go to my capture record. And then here I can see in the event data, the result is it's stored. And then it tells me all the data that's been stored in the actual record. If I want to see it, I can just go back to my team. I'll scroll down to records. In here, I'm going to search for my malicious IP. And so here's my malicious IP records. And then here we can see all of the columns associated. So there's a story name, timestamp, IP, and scan. Now, if we want to filter any of our data in the top right hand corner, we can go in and we can choose if there is a specific date. I can choose yesterday, last seven days, um, back all the way to last 365 days. I can also remove the view for some of those columns. And then we can also export this data as CSV, giving you a great way to create reports for leadership. Now, if you click this arrow over on the left-hand side, it'll pull back up our record. From here, we can actually view the data from the story that it happened. And so here we see the payload. If you wanted to go back and view the story that it's in, you can click this. And then you can also copy the link to the record if you need to share it with somebody internally. I hope that you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you next time.